Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to do a review of the film The Monkey's Mask. Now I have already done a review of the book that this film is based on so if you want some backstory then click on the, the video. Will I leave a link? Editing test, are you going to leave a link in the in the video. You're joining a union. Good for you. Good for you. So I actually saw this film years ago but it's been so long since I've seen the film that watching it again was kind of like watching it for the first time but it is also a film that kind of stays with you because it is very highly erotic and there's a lot of nudity. Yeah. Anyway, I decided to rewatch and review. The Monkey's Mask is, in short, basically an Australian lesbian murder mystery. The book is told through poetry, so they've incorporated this into the film. I think they've kind of done this quite well. And the film follows a private investigator called Jill Fitzpatrick, who is investigating the disappearance of a young girl called Mickey and in her investigations she meets Mickey's professor Diana and the two have a very steamy love affair even though Diana is married and then of course Mickey turns up dead and Mickey's parents want Jill to find out you know who's responsible and what happened and as Jill is doing her research and investigating the poetry scene and the people who were in Mickey's life uh, she finds herself closer to danger than originally anticipated. What I liked about this film is it stays pretty close and pretty true to the book that it's based on. There's only a few kind of different artistic choices and I think the ending is slightly different from the book. So as I say the film is quite erotic, there's a lot of nudity in this film. Sometimes I felt like they were relying a bit heavily on the nudity, however the book itself is also quite raw and sexual so that's the basic to be honest and I'm not complaining and I think it's very interesting how they've transferred this book onto the screen given the poetic contents of the book. I don't really have any dislikes for the film, it's not an amazing film but I do prefer the book and I think the story works a lot better in the book however I think the film is still good, the film is still very watchable. The murder mystery side of things is a little bit lame and slow. However, even in the book, the murder mystery is essentially secondary to the love affair between Jill and Diana. The film isn't a masterpiece, but it does the book justice and I I like the film. I do think it's very watchable and I do think if you enjoyed the book, you'll probably enjoy this film. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.